Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn how super easily like a Excel basic formula of sum of total number of columns, how many we are added in a particular table in Excel. So here one more super easy technique that is chart GPT, the trending one how super easily if you don't know about to how to write like a, a formula to be prepared in yourself using chart gpt it's a super easy i'll show you like a two methods how super easily you can make a sum as well as if you write a line to your automation tool like a, it will give you a formula how to prepare yourself yes how it is possible let's see now let's see here a, like a quick view of uh, sum then we will discuss about the chart GPT. Let's like expenses and budget here, airfare, total, like a hotel, car, food, shop. So here you may observe this is some how we need to prepare. If I need a total here, if I place the cursor in this box selected and holding a shift and up arrow to selecting this particular column like airfare, hotel, car, food, shop. If I select it in this way, go to the right like a home. Here the home menu and the right side here it is a sigma symbol it is showing like a sum. If I click this sum, I'll get the total automatically here and the formula will be prepared. Or else there is a keyboard automatical shortcut for alt key from your windows keyboard plus equal to see it is displaying when you press this symbol you will automatically total these particular cells which are highlighted got it now let's see there is a if i click here that sigma button directly here automatically the same thing will happen total now see the formula is prepared here sum equal to b2 to b7 this is the b2 and this is the B2, see the B column and two second row and this is the B6, this is the B column only and six row. So the B2 and B6 if we prepared, if I selected here, we will see the particular so like uh, see here is a formula equal to some b2 to b7 what the range you are specified and wherever you want to place the cursor and if you prepare the range to the sum you will get a total super easily how beautifully got it now let's see if you don't know how to write equal to sum of open parenthesis and b2 of the starting range and ending range point what the columns you want to prepare so the same formula i have a prepared here like b2 to b6 data is here now b7 it is calculating like empty row i have taken for the purpose now b2 to b6 it's a sum it is a given even if it is given b6 also it will give the total super easy now the same formula i have taken here here it is Okay, got it. Now let's come to here for chart GPT. It's a non-profit open source code, right? What you want, not only Excel formula, I'm showing you how Excel super easily you can apply your queries and get the answer immediately. Getting better every day. Register now for free for using your creating of uh, this account for Google or Microsoft account. I'll show you how to uh, like a go a step by step procedure. And what you want to know and test it. First you test it and then you need to write a formula. For this, for this sum of how I am prepared my text. It's a write a formula in Excel that sum the value in columns like a, like a column B2 to B6 and use the sum function i have written a simple line now now go to open chart gpt go to the google simply you just go to like um, chart gpt hit enter now you will get chart gpt optimizing language model for daylight -like engine for open ai it's a open source and now it can be used as an a free account chart gpt is a chart gpt like a chatbot link like a launched by open ai november 2022 it's a built-in top open ai's gpt3 family large language models which are already and fine-tuned and both supervised reinforcement and every day it is getting better for the queries who like who are asking and they are not getting if they are not getting the proper response yes the team and ai is working a great to making a like a much effort go to the open ai now and here you will find the chart gpt optimizing language model is if you are having a time you just go through the step by step now try chart gpt if you hit this button chart gpt is a capacity right now so sometime it is showing like a some 
something like it's a very huge and uh, like a uh, getting like a much more uh, uh, hitting so it is a uh, giving it the, the same window so if you get like this window you can sign up at first time then immediately if you press the sign up you will get an a window called like uh, which is the gmail or uh, continue with the you, if you want to you can create uh, this accounts or else uh, here you may find continue with the google or continue with the microsoft account right if you are already logged in like a uh, created your account you just go back and go back yes if i go back here you just see here yeah continue with the google yeah i have already registered here and i'm just creating like uh, just i already created my account with using my google let me check here yeah let me check yes perfectly so the account once the account is created see chat gpt new chat and dark mode open ai discords and uh, see log out so here this is the cursor is blank blinking no hello yeah here you need to write a query how the chat message you will send the same way so come back here and uh, select this particular the text like my query just i'm preparing my query what i want to ask to my chat gpt go back to this window paste here that's it paste here and a hit like a send to the chat like a this chat gpt bot now write a formula in excel the sum of the values in column b2 to b6 use the sum function i have written yes so the chat gpt is getting too busy hence it is taking this much of time or else it won't take that much of time so let be patient let be patient yeah you may test it whenever like uh, you feel take a time to comfortably you can take a time to test with this all right now a moment a moment you can wait yeah just let me like uh, refresh this window to yeah we are experiencing see here experiencing high demand of uh, we work in the scaling of the systems so here i want to making like a, you know again i have sent uh, this the same query wow it's uh, equal to some b2 to b6 let me check with this let me check take a copy of this take a copy of this formula and come back to excel and paste wherever you want and uh, place the cursor paste this hit enter wow what a great the sum equal to b2 to b6 the same thing it is written and go back here and find here it is a chart gpt is given this sum so all you need to know what the requirement you have to prepare your lines you have to prepare your lines and prepare your way and come back here and get the formula or functionality what the excel thinks you need to test your chart bot so you will be like uh, you you need not to check some other ways even google and here we will like uh, we are trying to getting more and more formulas are making a, a real world expertise you need to make a master in excel yes we are also exploring and uh, very soon we also add more and more lectures regarding to the chart gpt excel some chart gpt this is a lecture for you i hope it's a super easy to practice more and uh, try to apply more formulas in your way i'll catch you soon in the next lecture thank you